how are you all i hope you are happy and healthy and studying also because your examination is so near and as you all know we have completed grammar book and today we are going to start your book honeycomb book chapter number 1 once again to revise the questions and answers in all the chapter because it is very important to revise the chapter once it was finished so let's start our first chapter three question in your honey comb book so all of you take out your book honey comb chapter number 1 three questions so this chapter that le- this lesson talks about life experiences a wise man bestowed on the king the dilemma of the king was given a thought by various councils who shared their reason although it was a futile effort from their side as they failed to convince the king he then reached out for a seer a hermit who enlightened him with the real life experience the story depicts about that so let's start this chapter once again first paragraph paragraph wise i am going to read and explain so now in the first paragraph you can see the thought came to a certain king that he would never fail if he knew three things these three things were what is the right time to begin something which people should he listen to what is the most important thing for him to do the king therefore sent messengers throughout his kingdom promising a large sum of money to anyone who would answer these questions now these three questions came in the mind of the king the questions were very important as you all know the first question is what is the right time to begin something which people should be listen to what is the most important thing for him to do so three question he would believe that if he knew three things so he became a very successful emperor now the king gave a thought for consideration that he would always succeed if he would find answer of his three questions the three things were what is the right time to begin something which people should be he listen to what is the most important thing for him to do the king declared to give a large sum of money as a reward to the one who could come up with the answer he received different answer to his question of course because if the large people large number of people were coming to give the answer so it is very important here you can see there are different type of opinion the king could receive so many wise men came to the king but they all answered his questions differently totally differently their answers were in reply to the first question some said the king must prepare a timetable and then follow it strictly only in this way they said could he do everything at its proper time others said that it was impossible to decide in advance the right time for doing something the king should notice all that was going on avoid foolish pleasure and 
always do whatever seemed necessary at that time yet others said the king needed a council of wise men who would help him act at the proper time this was because one man would find it impossible to decide correctly without help from others the right time for the every action now in these paragraphs you can see different opinion had came over there and after that his first question was answered by many wise men a few of them suggested him to prepare a timetable others wanted him to leave everything and engross himself in looking after works so here you can see each and every opinion was different from each other and the king was getting confused because that was a time he wanted the three answers very correctly and here you can see the different type of the answer were coming over here few suggested for having a council of wise men to decide everything and other reciprocate that some works need urgent attention some gave their opinion to look into the future by taking the help of the magician so these type of the uh, you can say the suggestions were there but others said that there were some things that could be urgent these things could not wait for decision of the council in order to decide the right time for doing something it is necessary to look into the future but only magician could do that the king therefore would have to the go to the magician so some you have already seen that some people suggested him to go to the magician to ask the things in their answers to the second question some said that the people most necessary to do king were his counselors other said the priest the few other chose the doctors and yet other said that his soldiers were the most necessary now here you can also see if the question was first question was there so there were a different opinion and again with the second question answer you can see different type of the opinion is there first they said go to the counselor other said the priest are very important few other said the doctors you chose doctor and the other said that a soldier were the most necessary part so different opinion were there to the third question some said science other choose fighting and yet other religious worship so what was the third question third question the third question was whom the king would be listen so here you can see the answers were so different the king was not satisfied and gave no reward so the third question was whom he should listen some said signs other choose fighting and yet other religious worship so as the answer to his question was so different the king was not satisfied and gave no reward instead he decided to seek the advice of a certain hermit who was widely known for his wisdom the hermit hermit means a person who lives alone and leads a simple life now here you can see so the the hermit lives in the wood which he never left 
He saw no one but simple people. And so the king put on ordinary clothes. Before he reached the hermit hut, the king left his horse with his bodyguard and went on alone. As the king came near the hermit hut, he saw the hermit digging the ground in front of his hut. He greeted the king and continued digging. The hermit was old and weak and as he worked, he breathed heavily. Now, after disappointment, lot of disappointment, However, the king wasn't satisfied with any suggestions. He sought after the advice of the hermit, known for his wisdom. The king visited him in a simple clothes and left behind his bodyguard and horse. The hermit lived in a hut and was digging the ground. The king asked him the three question, but received no reply. So here you can see he was digging the field. So here you can see the king went up to the hermit and said, I have to come you wise himself, wise hermit to ask you to answer three questions. How can he learn to do the right thing at the right time? Who are the people I need most and what affairs are the most important? The hermit listened to the king but did not speak. He went on digging. You are tired, said the king. Let me take the spade and work in your place. Thanks, said the hermit, giving the king his spade. Then he sat down on the ground. When the king had dug two beds, he stopped and repeated his question. The hermit gave no answer, but he stood up, stretching out his hand for a spade, and said, Now you rest, and let me work. But the king did not give him the spade, and continued to dig. Now here you can see, as he was old and weak, the hermit was old and weak. The king started digging for him. After some time he asked again but did not receive any reply. The king asked after an hour to which Hermit answered that someone was coming. So here you can see continuously he was digging but after some time the hermit did not answer anything and again he repeat the question. Now, when the king had dug two beds, he stopped and repeated his question. The hermit gave no answer, but stood up, stretching out his head and spade and said, Now you rest, let me work. But the king did not give the spade and continued to dig. One hour passed, then another, the sun went down behind the trees and at last the king stuck and spit into the ground and said, I came to you, wise man, for an answer to my question. If you can give me no answer, tell me so, and I will return home. Here comes some running, said the hermit. Now he was just got frustrated, and he said to hermit that if you would not like to give answer, so please say, sir. So, I'll return back. But without giving the answer, Hermit informed that someone was coming over there. So let's move to the next part of the story. This is second part. The king turned round and saw a bearded man running towards them. His hands were pressed against his stomach, from which blood was flowing. When he reached the king, he fainted, fell to the ground. The king and the hermit removed the men's clothing and found a large wound in his stomach. 
the king washed and covered it with his handkerchief and the blood would not stop flowing. The king redressed the wound until at last bleeding stopped. So, as soon as he turned his face, he saw, the king saw, a bearded man with the wound, which was bleeding. The king turned around, he saw a wounded man, blood was profusely coming out of his wound and then he fainted. The king himself washed his wound and his handkerchief until the bleeding stopped. Now here you can see the man felt better and asked for something to drink. The king brought fresh water and gave it to him. By this time the sun had set and air was cool. The king with the hermit help carried the wounded man into the hut and laid him on the bed. The man closed his eyes and lay quiet. The king tired by his walk and the work he had done, lay down on the floor and slept through the night. When he awoke, it was several minutes before he could remember where he was or who the strange bearded man lying on the bed was. The man asked for water and the king gave it to him. It was evening and both of them took his inside the hut. The man was lying quietly on the bed and as the king was tired, he slept on the floor. But he woke up when he woke up, the injured bearded man started telling something. Forgive me, said the bearded man in a meek voice when he saw that the king was awake. I do not know and have nothing to forgive you for, said the king. You do not know me, but I know you. I am that enemy of yours who swore revenge on you because you put my brother to death and seized my property. I knew you had gone alone to see that hermit and I made up my mind to kill you on your way home. But the day passed and you did not return. So I left my hiding place and I came upon your bodyguard who recognized me and wounded me. I escaped from him but I should have died if you had not dressed my wound. I wish to kill you and you have saved my life. Now, if I live, I will serve you as your most faithful servant and will order my sons to do the same. Forgive me. The king was very happy to, make, to have made peace with him enemy so easily and to have won his over as a friend. He not only forgave him, but said he would send his servant and his own doctor to look after him. And he promised to give back the man his property. Relieving, leaving the wounded man, the king went out of the hut and looked around for the hermit before going away. He wished once more to get answer to his question. The hermit was on his knees sowing seeds in the beds that had been dug day before. The king went to the hermit and said, For the last time I beg you to answer my question, wise man. Now here you can see the big description is given over here. The men, uh, the men asked water and the king gave it to him. It was evening and both of them took him inside the hut the man was lying quietly on the bed and as the king was tired, 
he stepped on the floor. When he woke up, the injured man apologized to him. The king was shocked. He revealed that he was his enemy because the king had killed his brother and seized his property. He took the opportunity to take revenge. He planned to kill. He planned to kill the king as he knew that the king came all alone to his, to the wise man. He planned to kill him on his way home, but as he did not return up, he came out of the hiding place. He came upon his guard who attacked him fearlessly as they recognized him. But he was indebted to the king who turned out to be his savior. He pledged to save him. The king in return promised to return his forfeited money and to send doctors to look after him properly. So here you can see and the answers, which answers the king was very much unsatisfied. Now he went to the hermit again and hermit was digging or sowing the seeds inside the dug beds. Now here the hermit answered. You have already been answered, said the hermit, still bending down to the ground and looking up at the king as he stood before him. How have I have been answered? What do you mean? Do you not see, replied the hermit, if you had not pitied my weakness yesterday and had not dug these beds for me, you would have gone away. Then that man would have attacked you and you would have wished you had stayed with me. So the most important time was when you were digging the beds. So here the hermit started answering his question. The first answer he had given that the most important time when you were digging the bed for me. And I was the most important man. And to do me good was your most important business because seeing old and weary, you just started digging. That was a great help for me. So I was a most important man over there. So I was the most important man. And to do me good was your most important business. Afterward, when the man ran to us, the most important time was when you were caring for him. Because if you had not dressed him wound, he would have died without having made peace with you. So he was the most important man. And what you did for him was your most important business. Remember, then there is only one time that is important, that is time now. It is the most important time because it is the only time we have any power to act. The most necessary person is the person you are with that particular moment. For no one knows what will happen in the future and whether we'll meet anyone else. The most important business is to do that person good because we were sent into this world for the purpose alone. So this is beautiful stories written by Leo Tolstoy and here you can see what is the best time. Hermit revealed the secret of happiness, of success. That is, what is the best time? Best time is now. And what is the important man? Who is the important man? 
with whom you are meeting now and you are doing good deeds for him him or her and the next thing is important time because it is the only time we have any part work the most necessary person is the person you are at the particular moment for no one knows what will happen in future and whether we will meet anyone else the most important business is to do that person good you are doing good things for the person it is your good business so all three answers the hermit had already given with the act of kindness of king he served the bleeded man and the bleeded man was changed transformed his heart and he became friend of or you can the servant of king and king dug the beds and the old hermit was able to sow the seeds so that was a wonderful work the time was good so the time is now it is the best time and to which people whom uh, you are meeting that was the best people in your life and you just go and spend your time and do good for everyone and whatever you are doing good things that is your best business these are the secret of success here the leo tolstoy already told so from this story we can learn that each and every moment of life you just avail it otherwise you never see your future present is your everything whatever you are doing today do good do good for the people do good for yourself so always remember each and everything whatever the god has given you precious so always respect always respect your elders always respect your colleagues and respect your smaller one also so here you can see the hermit further told the king that the most important person for him was the person with him at the particular moment the most important business was to help that person and the most important time was now that is the present moment so this is the mo- main motto of the story or you can say the moral of the story and the whole secret is hidden inside these three questions that is the secret of success so as you all know there were three questions and the hermit replied wisely so children as you all know three question is a value based intellectual story written by the renowned russian writer leo tolstoy the story is divided into two parts and both are interrelated and of practical importance so first part has already told you that was a question was there were there and the king was very uh, disappointed when disappointed with the answers of wise men and then he went to the hermit in a very simple clothes and after that he got the answer but after doing some work so always remember this time is your 
precious time. So utilize it because today is never come before or again. So always remember today never come again. Today is the day when you can do wonders in your life.